Same source, the free beacon, Adam Credo follow. Excuse me, Adam Credo. Listen to this. The Obama administration has been waging a secret media war in capitals across two continents, blaming Israel for the recent collapse of peace talks with the Palestinians, according to former Israeli diplomats in Washington, D.C., insiders familiar with the peace process. In addition to hating our military, ladies and gentlemen, I've said many times that Barack Obama hates Israel. He does. Multiple sources told the Washington Free Beacon that top Obama administration officials have worked for the past several days to manufacture a crisis over the reissuing of housing permits in a Jerusalem neighborhood widely acknowledged as Israeli territory. Senior State Department officials based in Israel have sought to lay the groundwork for Israel to take the blame for talks collapsing, peddling a narrative to the Israeli press claiming that the Palestinians were outraged over Israeli settlements. Now, these administration officials have planted several stories in Israeli and U.S. newspapers blaming Israel for the collapse of peace talks and have additionally provided reporters with anonymous quotes slamming that government. The primary source of these multiple reports has been identified as a John Kerry flunky, as Middle East envoy Martin Indyk, I-N-D-Y-K. That's right, Indyk. And his staff, according to these insiders, who said the secret media campaign against Israel paved the way for Kerry to go before Congress last Tuesday and publicly blame Israel for tanking the talks. And it goes on at some great length. So is this diabolical, devious, deceitful campaign against Israel fomenting hate against the Jews in Israel? From the highest levels of our government? I'm just asking you, Senator Markey, I'm sure you're going to want to introduce a bill to address this. And then, Senator Markey, I'm sure you have been very, very inquisitive about Obama and his meeting or meetings with individuals closely associated with the Muslim Brotherhood, a terrorist organization. Are you going to look into that, Senator Markey? Are you going to look into this group CARE that grew out of a meeting in Philadelphia and is the phony face of Hamas-related organizations? You going to look at that, Senator Markey, or are you going to go after telecommunications, the Internet, radio, TV, to see if people are encouraging hate crimes based on gender, race, religion, ethnicity, and sexual orientation? You jackass. That's right, Senator. That's exactly what you are. You need to be, at least verbally, knocked down a peg or 12. I'm sick and tired, ladies and gentlemen, of these politicians attacking the First Amendment, going after conservatives and conservative groups. We know what they're all about. Let me be clear again. This Klansman, this KKK leader from Missouri, he was citing Max Blumenthal, or at least this site was, a leftist, anti-Israel, son of one of the closest advisors Hillary Clinton has ever had, a man who sued Matt Drudge. He was given a forum at a publicly financed college, Missouri State University, controlled by liberals. Let's not pretend here that this is a matter of talk radio or the Internet per se or what have you. And our own government is embracing terrorist organizations and undermining our own allies. What's that, Mr. Markey? What do you call that? 